Hi, and welcome to the game of Playful Gods. I'm going to th show you a four-player game. Please refer to my other videos to learn the rules. So I'm playing Apollo, the red player here in this case. I have the action card on hand because I'm the first player, but I'm not, I'm not drawing a Playful Guard card in, my, in the first round. I'm in front of water, so the logical thing would be to play my water here to move my player here since I do not need a bridge on the first level. I'm going to look over here and see that Poseidon, the blue player, is in front of Aether. Well, I'm going to I'm going to play my Aether since I don't need it here. I'm going to play Aether here so that he cannot play Aether in his first turn. I could also do the same for Hades, uh, I could even do it for Zeus, but I think things are going to change a bit until it's their turn, so I'm just going to wait and see what happened. I'm going to discard my green earth here because I can't use it, I'm not going to need it. So then I'm going to draw three new cards. I'm going to end my turn. So now I am playing Poseidon in this case. I cannot play uh, ether. Well, I guess I could have played this multi card to get on, but that would count as an ether. ether. So I, what I could do here is I can rotate the arena. So I'm going to rotate with this one here. I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to rotate clockwise so that I have this new earth one available to me here so I can move up here. Next up, I would go for building a bridge on the next level, but I don't, I'm not in front of any cards that or any areas that I can use. I have water and fire, but I'm not in front of any of these right now. Um, I could have a look at what's over here. They are in front of air. That just wouldn't change anything, really. So I'm going to end my turn, clear my player board here, and I'm going to I think I'm going to discard two cards as well, because I can do that, and thereby ending my turn. Picking up four new cards, and end. Alright, so now I am playing Hades, and I'm in front of this air. And I don't have any cards on my player plate, so I'm free to do what I want. I can then use my multi card here i'm going to use the one that says one i'm going to move up here so now i'm in play as well so i need to get to well it looks like i could build a bridge to blue which is good i can do ether so what i could do is i could spend my water in this case and i can then rotate level two i can rotate that counterclockwise so that I'm now in front of Aether. I can then spend one and two Aether to build a bridge, but I'm not up there yet. I have to have one more Aether before I can move there. So let's see, I can then, I have a, I have a water here and it has a rotation one on it, I might as well spend it over here so that that uh, Zeus cannot play water or rotate uh, ring number one in his turn. I'm going to draw five new cards and I'm going to end my turn. So now it's Zeus. And I cannot rotate ring or level one. And that's that's all right, I guess, because I do have an air. So I, I'm just going to move up here. And then I have two water and two ether, which is normally quite good, but they're over here. And I can't rotate my ring, not, not level two and not level one so I think I'm gonna go for water next time I'm gonna discard a few cards here or at least one I'm gonna discard I'm gonna first I'm gonna put ether over here 
because I don't want him to use either to get onto his bridge. And then I'm gonna discard one so that in in the in the hope that I will get more cards. So I'm gonna clear my board and then I'm gonna draw back three more cards and I'm gonna end my turn. All right, we are back to Apollo again, and I have the action card. So now it's time to draw one of the playful cards. I'm going to put it here and I'm going to flip it and have a look. So this one says rotate ring one, three feels counterclockwise. Well, one, two, three. So certainly Hades must hate that. I guess, but Zeus is now very close to a bridge, which is uh, good for him. So that's interesting here. I'm now in front of an ether, and I really should probably try to go for air instead, which is over here, but then, because then I'm going to get onto that. So I'm going to rotate ring. Sorry, this card says that I had to pass on the action card immediately. I'm gonna pass this one over to player two here. And when it's his turn, he'll, he'll draw a new one. So I am gonna play my ether to rotate uh, counterclockwise. So now this bridge is in the middle of these two players, which is uh, good for me. So it's easy, not, not as easy for them to use it. I'm gonna play one, one and two air to get onto, or to, to build a bridge. And then I'm gonna play this multi one if I can to move up here. So now I'm actually on, on the next level, which is quite good. I see that Hades, well, he's already blocked, so that's no good. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make sure that uh, Poseidon, no, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna save my Earth here because I might be in front of this one the next round. So I'm going to draw four cards and I'm going to end my turn. All right, so now Poseidon is all the way, all, all the way over here. And he's in front of Aether. But what he really wants is air, which is not ideal in this case, I guess. I could rotate one, two, three. I'm not gonna take all my cards now, but I might as well. I'm gonna ro rotate ring number one, and I'm gonna do it clockwise so I'm closer to this one. And I'm also gonna rotate level two counterclockwise. So now I'm in front of the air, and I'm I'm safe here because. Um, Hades cannot play either in his turn, so that's all right. I'm not gonna, s I'm gonna spend my two air cards here to build my bridge, and then I'm gonna spend this last one to move up here, which is quite an awesome. Move. I, I used all my cards and I got onto the next level, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna draw back five new, new cards. And then I'm going to end my turn. So now I have the action card here. So in my the first thing I have to do now is draw one of the playful gods. So I'm going to put it here and flip it. Let's see what this one says. It says this round a maximum of three cards can be played by each player, so a maximum of three cards. So I am here, I cannot play Aether, which is unfortunate because I could actually go up there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
go towards the airfield here, see if I can do that. I can, I can rotate. I can rotate, let's see. I can rotate with uh, this water. That's a one, so I'm gonna go clockwise on this one. And then I'm gonna gonna spend two air to build a bridge. Unfortunately I can't go there but at least my options are open now. I'm gonna I can't spend any more cards because I can only spend three. So I'm gonna clear my board. I'm gonna draw back three cards. So I have five and I'm gonna end my turn. So I am here I'm front of water. I can build on water, which is all right, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, mm, let's see if I can, if I rotate the ring, I could force Apollo onto this red one in his next turn, which is quite good, I guess but then I can't build for myself. I think I'm gonna, yeah, I think that's, I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna stop all the other players doing their thing. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna rotate. Let's see, I'm gonna rotate ring number two in this case. I'm gonna go counter, no, clockwise like that. So now we have uh, Apollo in front of fire. And I'm gonna say that the first thing that Apollo must play is this fire card. So he has to basically move away from this one. I'm also gonna say that Hades cannot play ether so he's blocked again and for Poseidon I can't do anything I'm gonna keep these two I think I can't play anymore because I can only play card uh, three cards anyway so I'm gonna draw three cards and I'm gonna end my turn all right so the first thing I have to do now, because it's on my player plate, it says here I have to use this fire card, and that's very unfortunate. So I can play this, or have to play this, and I have to move on to red. But luckily, I have a, an air, so that's good. I can actually move again. So now I've already played two cards on my hand. So I'm gonna... What can I do? I can rotate towards, I don't want to rotate so that, well, Hades is already blocked, so I don't want to mess that up. That's all right. So I can, and I don't need, I don't need this earth one right now. So I'm going to block the use of earth for Poseidon. And I'm also going to block the use of fire for Zeus in this case. That was three cards and I can't play anymore. So I have to draw back three new cards. I'm going to end my turn. So I cannot use earth for my turn here but I might be able to rotate. Yeah, I can do that. Oh. I can only spend three cards, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna rotate level three clockwise so that I'm in front of the water. I'm gonna spend one and two water to build a bridge. Unfortunately, I can't play any more cards 
Otherwise, I would be able to go up there, so I have to wait. I'm going to discard this one, clear my player board, and I'm going to draw back three new cards and end my turn. Alright, so I have the action card here. Um, so I have to pass this on now, and now we can play with more cards, but I'm going to pass it on to the next player just to get some more action in play. So I cannot play Ether in this case, which is quite unfortunate because I, I could, but um, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to turn... So I'm going to go for the air instead, so I'm going to turn level 2, because that's going to have an effect on uh, Poseidon as well. Turn level 2 counterclockwise, so now in front of this air, I can then move up here. So I could build a bridge towards the ether. Probably gonna, no, I can't do that because I am blocked on ether. So I'm gonna wait, I think. I might as well block the use of fire for Poseidon up here because he's in front of fire now. I'm gonna clear this one and I'm gonna draw three new cards. And I'm gonna end my turn. Now I have the action card here, so I have to draw a playful card. I'm gonna put it over here and flip it. And this one, it says, all players mov must, room, must move to the adjacent field on the next ring further away from the goal. Wow, that was a good one, especially for me, since I was already on ring one, or level one. So now everyone has to move one step further away just gonna do this. So now it evened out the game quite a bit. Although I have my turn now. Uh, it says here that I should pass on the action card immediately. I'm gonna, um, gonna pass it over on the other side here. There you go. So I cannot use fire, which is not a big deal for me right now, but I can then build a bridge onto the water in front of me. Here. I can't get onto this, but I might, uh, I might uh, use this air to block the use of air on red because He's right in front of it. I could have used my air on any players, but I'm gonna use it on uh, Apollo in this case. I'm gonna clear this and I'm gonna draw back three new cards. I'm gonna end my turn. All right. So I cannot use air, which is well, I guess I don't have any, so that's all right. I can now. I get on. I would like to get over to this Earth one, so I can either rotate ring one or rotate ring two in this case. All of which is quite in handy because that's going to mess up everyone else's game. So I'm gonna just gonna use this. Well, I might use this red one next time. So I'm gonna, I'm think gonna use the water. And I'm gonna do a clockwise turn, and I'm, then I'm gonna use one and two to build my bridge, and I'm gonna lose use the last one here to move up here. So that's good. Um, I have a red, which I guess could come in handy 
next turn I think I'm gonna save it uh, otherwise I could have blocked the use uh, for Zeus but I'm ahead of him so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna save it I'm gonna discard this one I'm gonna draw back four more cards so I have five again I'm gonna end my turn with this one all right so I'm playing Poseidon I now have the See if I can turn the, the action card here. Um, so I'm gonna draw a playful guard. I'm gonna flip it and see what it says. All players that stand alone on a ring must move to the adjacent field on ring two. So the only one that is already or, or is standing alone on a ring is actually Poseidon, and I'm already on level two. But if if let's say Hades was over here, he would have to move back to level two in this case, but uh, nothing happens here, so that's all right. It says also that I have to pass on the action card immediately. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pass it over to this player here. So now it's me. I have, I can't use fire, which is very much a shame because I'm actually right in front of fire and I have a lot of fire here but I am gonna instead I'm gonna rotate gonna rotate level three in this case I'm gonna rotate it so that I'm in front of the bridge that I already have that's counterclockwise and then I'm gonna move onto this space so now I'm quite a lot of front here But I can't use fire. Um, I could, however. Yeah, let's see what happens next time. I'm gonna end my turn with this one, and I'm gonna draw back two new cards. And I think I'm just gonna pause the video for a second so I can shuffle all the cards. So now I've shuffled all the cards, and I'm gonna end my turn here. So let's see, I have the action card again. And I'm gonna draw a playful guard. Flip it, see what it says. It says here that none of the rings can rotate in this round and I have to pass on the action card in my next turn. So none of the rings can rotate. I'm gonna put that here as a reminder. All right, so I am... Um, I don't have any cards on my player plate, so I might as well just use one either to move up here. So it would be good for me to get closer to that ether field over here. I can do that by basically just moving over here and then playing two ether to build a bridge there, but I can't move on to it. Um, I think I'm gonna use my earth here because you see that Poseidon is in front of, or yeah, in front of an earth field behind him. If I give him an earth, he would have to move, but he has, he's also in next to an earth, so that's a shame. That wouldn't help because he would just move to the side. That doesn't help. So I'm gonna, I have to keep it. I can't discard it. So I'm gonna have to draw four new cards and end my turn. All right, so I would have to, I would want to go over here to my bridge I would have to move over here I would have to rotate I can't rotate so I'm in a bit of a, a trouble here I can't really do much except for playing cards on other players boards so I could do that I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for water next time and I think I'm gonna 
force Hades to move onto a green because in his turn he would have to move to the side away from his bridge. So let's do that. I'm, I'm going to end my turn, just draw one more card. And uh, then I'm going to end my turn. So I'm over here and I probably want to go for the water bridge here, but I can't. I can move towards it, but I can't move onto it because I don't have any. So I am, yeah, I'm going to move closer at least. And then I'm going to make sure that Poseidon cannot play water or air in this case. So I'm going to block the use of water. Hopefully that's going to stop him, but I'm not sure. I could then, yeah, I think I'm going to end my turn. I'm going to end my turn, draw two new cards. Right, so in this case, it looks quite good because, well, I can't use air, but that's all right because I have a lot of good cards here. So I can just use, luckily I have this one, it's gonna, that helps me a lot. I can use this one to move to the side here. Then I can place one, two, fire, to build a bridge and then I'm going to end the game with this fire and that's it. Poseidon is the winner.